Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about the difference between stealing market share and growing market share because I think that's important for you. Okay, so let's just think right now the greater Stockton metro area, okay, we're talking about. So right now there's an existing market for survey work, okay. There's some dollar volume that gets done, okay. Let's just say within Stockton city limits okay, because it makes it easier. So let's say within the Stockton city limits, let's say the average, you know, yearly dollar amount of land surveying and land planning that gets done is $5 million. Okay. Right now, the, right now there's a half a dozen firms that split that up. Okay. KSN, Siegfried, Wong Engineering, Bombac and Piazza, Coral Rolling Associates. I don't know. There's a half a dozen firms that stick up, split up that $5 million. Okay. So that's the existing market. Okay. Now here's what most firms try and do. Most firms don't worry about new market. They just come in and try and must. They just try and muscle in on the existing market. Okay. And, and we're going to do some of that. Okay. So some of this existing market we're going to steal. We're going to take. Sorry, competitors. Right. I'm good looking and I'm good at what I do. We're going to get some of it. Okay. Which is good. That's good for the market because I'm going to keep my competitors honest. Right. Okay, so some of this, maybe half, so I would say maybe, let's just look at these numbers. I would say, let me get a different color. Let's do purple. I would say, all right, I'm gonna take 30% of the existing market in Stockton. Let's just say that's a rough goal, okay? 70% of our business is gonna be new market that doesn't exist yet that we're gonna grow, and I'm gonna explain how we do that, okay? But let's just talk about this 30% here that we're gonna take, okay? I would say half and half. 15% of that is going to be through attrition. Do you know what attrition means? Mm -mm. That means land surveyors are old. They haven't been making a lot of new ones. And oh, based off of the, the guys are going to be there. Nobody's there to pick it up. The demographics, there's going to be fewer survey. There are going to be fewer survey companies in the Stockton area in five years or 10 years because there's some guys that don't have a succession plan and there's not enough guys like me running around. There's not enough guys. Is there more enrolling in school? Okay, but those guys are years behind. I understand that, but have they there noticed are, a there, spike? There's not at enough. All? No, there's not no, enough. No, no. So, and I know two or three firms in the last three years that have lost their survey capability because they can't hang on to a server. So we're going to see some more of that attrition. And don't feel sorry for these guys because all these different guys have opportunities with guys like me and they just, okay? So it's just, it's a demographic thing. The, the, the boomers are retiring. There's not enough new surveyors coming up. So we're going to get 15% just because... Plus technology and things like that. They, that well, then we went through the recession. We went through the recession in 2008. That took a lot of guys out, right? So, like, look, we're going to get 15% of the existing market without even trying. Just because these there's going to be firms that are going out. They're just going to be going out. They're not going to be doing as much work or they're going to be going out of business, right? Like, I just talked to a firm in the Bay Area of... Uh, Six person firm, they're they're going under. They're gonna retire, they don't have anybody to take over. So all that work that that firm was doing is gonna go somewhere else. Are they already gonna be recommending us for them? They, they, they're, no, they're gonna go belly up. Yeah, but like all their- Well, they tried to work a deal with me and it didn't work out long story. Oh. Okay, so okay. my point is we're gonna get 15% just by attrition, right? Okay, this other 15%, we're gonna steal it. Okay, we're going to steal it because we're going to be more responsive, we're going to be quicker, we're going to do a better job, we're going to, you know, we're going to answer the phone when people call. Like, there's a certain percentage of the market right now, they're not happy with the service they're getting. Okay, and we're going to steal them. Okay? That was the guy at Patriot, too. Yeah. Because of the... They're not being taken care of. Tag orders. Because the problem is, everybody's busy, and so clients are getting neglected. So, yeah, we're going to go get that 50%. So, that's going to give us 30% of our share. Okay? But... I don't want to be down in here fighting everybody for the rest of this, okay? Because it's bloody and it drives your margins down, right? So the bulk of our business is going to be, we're going to create market that market share that doesn't exist yet. We're going to grow, okay? And we're going to do that primarily with two things, okay? So I'm going to say we're going to be 40% here, and we're going to be 60% here, okay? So 40% of our new market share is going to be what I call shoulda gas. Okay. Should have gas is you should have got a survey. 
Okay, so there's X amount of transactions right now that are being done where the client should be getting a survey and they're not because they don't know any better. They don't know any better, their attorney doesn't know any better, their broker doesn't know any better. So we've got to get out and there's an education here. We go back to the funnel, the awareness and, and curiosity and engagement. We've got to educate people. There's a lot of property being bought and sold without a survey and that's dangerous. It's not always dangerous, but a lot of times it's this seven out of 10 Commercial properties should get surveyed when there's a sale, and they're not because the people don't know any better. I watched a video on that um, for the, the the specific to the whole like neighbor wants to go move his fence after he bought it thing. Yeah. Was, yeah. Okay, so we're going to be educating those brokers and real estate agents and attorneys. We're going to be saying, hey, fill this form out. Let us tell you in five minutes whether or not a survey might be worth the money, right? And right now, all these guys are just fighting over the same pool of business, right? So we're going to let them. Hey, you go fight over that existing pool of business. We're going to go create business where it doesn't exist yet because people should be getting surveys and we can do it at a reasonable price and a reasonable yeah, amount of time. Don't you think the real estate agent, in most cases, is going to look at it like this is a large cost that's going to affect my okay, percent? So I'm going to give you, the, I'm going to give you a couple of responses to that. Like they're not going to want to I'm going to give you a couple of responses. So my first response is, 90% of the real estate agents out there know zero to nothing about boundary surveying and land title. I'm just saying, even if they did okay, know. Okay, so here's what you don't know. What you don't themselves. know are there are a lot of brokers out there making statements to their clients about area, lot size, area, where the boundaries are located, if the fences are on the line or not, if the buildings are encroaching or not. They're making statements that, that they probably shouldn't be making, and there are brokers every year that get sued for that. There's a huge liability there. So part of our should have gas education is, hey, agents and brokers, don't answer these five questions unless you've called us first, because you are going to get yourself into trouble. We are trying to prevent them. We're trying to help them. Like, hey, we're not going to charge anything. Call us before you answer that question for yourself, your buyer, I mean. Right? And listen, you and I are going to do some presentations to some real estate groups and people's, people's mouths are going to be on the floor. Because they're going to, and I'm going to, I've got court cases. We're going to bring, gonna say, yeah, we're going to bring them and say, hey, this broker got sued in Bakersfield four years ago for this very thing. And here's what it cost me. Okay? So that should have gas. You should have got a survey. There's a lot of surveys that aren't being done because people just don't know they should be doing them, and we're going to start doing that. Okay, the other 60% of our new market share is going to come from new products and services. Now, when you say it, this is still only directed towards commercial properties, yep. not the... Yep. Okay, so we're going to have some new products and services that we're going to do. I've got some technical reports that we're going to offer. Now, didn't you just say, didn't you say earlier that the bank usually makes them get a survey when they're doing that? Okay, but... A lot of deals, not a lot, but there's a certain percentage of deals that are financed with cash. So if there's no bank, if there's no loan, there's no requirement to get a survey. Okay. Just because there isn't a requirement to get a survey doesn't mean you shouldn't get a survey. Okay, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to start to teach some of our local banks what a crappy survey looks like. Because all the lenders know is that they need a survey. They don't know the difference between a crappy survey and a good survey, so we're going to teach them. So do you understand this plan? Okay, so one thing that you and I need to do is we need to talk about what new products and services are we going to offer. Okay, and we need to teach you about should gas. Like, so if you're in a room with a real estate agent or a broker or a lender, you can say, hey, here's some, some, some common reasons why you, why you might want to look at getting a survey on your next transaction. Here's the top three reasons why. And you're going to have a little flyer you can hand them. Okay, so part of this is educate, 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 educate. We've got to educate our clients, right, because they're doing deals right now. Here's what happens. They do deals, the deals go sideways because they didn't get a survey, they get sued, and then I get hired to go mop that up. That thing we're doing in Martinez, mm -hmm. that's going to cost the title company $100,000, that's something that didn't get a survey that should have, and now i got to go in and clean it up. It costs people real money. You're always better off to find out before you buy than after. Right. Right? So primarily, we're going to be focused on the buyers. Hey, buyers. Agents that represent buyers, before you buy, ask these questions, get a survey, right? And then after we've done that for a while, we're going to start talking to some of, some of the local sellers are going to be like, hey, you know what? I can't put this on the market until I talk to Landon because he's going to tell...
the buyer's agent that I need to, I want to know before it goes on the market if I got survey and title problems. So then we'll start working for the sellers. Right? It's in the buyer's interest. So what if, what if say, the seller had a survey, it was the property was surveyed 10 years ago, they're not going through a bank. Yep. Um, and it's a good survey 10 years ago. Then we don't want to work for them because I don't have value. There's, okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so There's still no value. I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you guess what percentage of properties I look at that have been surveyed in the last 50 years. Guess. That actually have been surveyed? Have surveyed in the last 50 years. Then what percentage I'm of gonna, properties? I'm going to say maybe 5%. Not very much. 20% maybe. Oh, so like 80% of the property that's getting bought and sold in Stockton right now. It's not ever been surveyed. Doesn't have, and the corners aren't set. Even if it's been surveyed, the corners aren't set. If the corners aren't set, Vanessa. And those are the, the pins, right? The property corner yeah. monitors, yeah. Okay. So like, look, there's a huge amount of, and that's why people get sued. They buy a piece of property, they don't know where the line is. Destroy or yeah, that, that happens. They get bulldozed, right? But like, look, before you buy a property for millions of dollars, should you know where your corners are? Yeah. So, what if they they have a survey, they know their, their corners have been set. Yep. Is there some kind of a check that somebody has to do to make sure those corners are still there and nobody's destructed? Them? Yeah, that's typically done on a land title survey, yes. Right, but but, but that's nothing only, to spark the person to go make sure those pins are still there. No, I don't that, think people understand that's that why those we, pins can get yes. removed. So that's why we have to educate the agents. Okay. Like, hey, because yeah, I didn't. And here's that. here's why I ran the ad I ran in the real estate magazine. Okay, because look, the buyer's agent has a duty to protect his buyer. Right, right. He right. should be asking those questions of the seller. Right. Are the property corners set? Do you have a recent survey? Mm -hmm. Are the buildings clear of the setback? Are there easements we need to know about that encumber the property? Like the but a lot of times those questions don't get asked because those people don't get educated. So yeah, we are going to educate them. Yeah, and they see just a plain lot or land, and they assume that like yeah, and our line. I get land. hired all the time for when that stuff goes sideways, right? Okay, so that should yes. Okay, then we're just going to do some stuff that nobody's doing right now, like. We've got some things we're going to do. I don't want to talk about it on the video, but like we've got some new like products and services. The tool. Some, and... Yeah, some different services that we're going to offer that just... And the other thing we're going to do is like, we're going to do more than just surveying and land planning. If you've got a real estate project that you want to run, you can hire us. We'll help you run your real estate project. Help you with the permitting. Help you find the contractor. Help you get the financing. I haven't UAV services at all. That's going to be bundled into this. That's on the design support side. Okay. Okay, that's for design support. All right. I'm going to turn this off. Yeah, that was good. I, I